aerodynamics basically is the study of fluid flow around objects. NASA is not in the business of designing soccer balls or any balls for that matter or testing them. What we do use sports balls here, especially in our lab, is for educational purposes. We found that it's very easy to get young kids interested in our field by showing something they can relate to. What we have here is a wind tunnel, which is basically a chamber through which air flows. When it comes to soccer ball, what we're looking at is the flight of the ball through the air. There's a very thin film or layer that forms near the ball surface, and it's the behavior of that layer which we call a boundary layer, which is critical to the performance of the ball. As far as the aerodynamics go, it's the structure of the outside, the material, the roughness. That's what determines the aerodynamics of the ball. Knuckling is when the ball flies erratically through the air, or it may change directions as it's flying through the air. What's been done to the brazooka is that by using these panels with, with fingers on it, the seam length has been increased compared to the ball in 2010. What we're looking at with the smoke patterns is where does that smoke leave the ball? At what point along the surface? And when that position of that separation location changes suddenly, then that is the speed at which the ball will knuckle the most. I think the basic message for the players is that I think you'll see less of this knuckling effect. They'll find that it, it behaves more like the traditional ball and I, I believe they'll be happier.